What's going on guys? My name is Mark Wagner and today I'm going to be showing you five types of Shopify stores that you should totally not start. If you don't know who I am, again, my name is Mark Wagner and I'm a 17 year old entrepreneur who's built a six figure Shopify dropshipping business. I make YouTube videos to help other entrepreneurs and I really try to keep these as short as possible and just eliminate the fluff that other YouTubers have in their videos. If you take some value out of this video, feel free to look through my channel. I've made videos on a ton of stuff, especially focusing on Shopify dropshipping. With that being said, I'm going to stop ranting and get into the video. Alright, so really quick, I just want to say that basically all types of Shopify stores can work if you do it the right way, but I'm going to be sharing some types of Shopify stores that are just really, really hard to make it work, especially as a beginner. You may pick up a pattern as I'm explaining why each store is hard to start, so be sure to stick around to the end of the video for an explanation of that pattern. The first type of Shopify store that you should 100% avoid opening is a men's fashion accessory store. The reason why is because this is kind of what blew up AliExpress dropshipping, but since then it's gotten extremely saturated and it's super hard to make money in unless you really build a brand and utilize personal brand influencers because the men's fashion influencers on Instagram kind of suck. The second type of Shopify store that you should avoid opening is ones in the baby niche or in the cooking niche. These may sound completely different and you may be wondering why I group them together, but it's because why you don't want to open them is the same for both. The reason is it has a ton of potential on Facebook, but there's virtually no good Instagram influencers. And if you decide to start out with Facebook, you're going to have a bit of a learning curve as a beginner. The third type of Shopify store that you want to avoid opening is clothing. Clothing is tough because you have a lot of big name competition and it's really hard to get people to buy from you unless you build a brand for yourself. In addition, if you're dropshipping from AliExpress, you're going to have to deal with sizing differences and a ton of returns because Asian sizing, which is what AliExpress uses, is a lot smaller than US sizing. The only exception to this is print on demand because that does really well if you know how to advertise. The fourth type of Shopify store that you want to avoid opening is electronics. Electronics could work but only if you really focus in on a specific set of products or you know what you're doing. Rarely do I see a beginner that opens a general electronics store and does well. The reason for this is electronics are super hard to target, plus you gotta deal with stuff breaking during shipping which increases your return and chargeback rate. The last store that you wanna avoid opening is anything copyrighted. I saw so many Fortnite stores, I see so many like Louis Vuitton and Gucci case stores, all the stuff that's just like blatantly copyrighted. Not only do you run the risk of getting sued for a whole lot of money, but you also have to deal with the nightmare of switching from AliExpress suppliers because AliExpress doesn't allow copyrighted stuff and they regularly remove those products. In addition, you're gonna have to deal with the risk of possibly being shut down by Shopify and possibly getting your account banned by PayPal. In my opinion, a quick buck isn't worth getting sued for six figures and all the problems that come with it. So if you paid attention, you may have noticed the pattern that the worst stores to start are either highly saturated or hard to target, especially on Instagram. Finding your ideal targeting is the hardest part of starting out and it just makes it so much easier if you have a good niche and good niche products even if you're running a general store. I really hope you guys got some value out of this. If so, feel free to leave a like, comment, and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.